Hey guys, let me show you around the settings page real quick. So you'll know what every little button does and you'll also discover how to use this WordPress plugin to its full potential. You'll probably start off by entering your Spinner Rider email address and API key. This allows the plugin to hook into your Spinner Rider account and actually use the power of ENL semantic spinning. Then you're able to choose the exact age when your posts should get spun and republished. You can also decide to either spin or preserve the titles of your existing posts. Now, imagine one of your old posts getting spun. You've got a brand new post on your hands now. With this option here, you can either decide to publish the new post as a brand new post on your website, or you can use it to update the existing post in place. Of course, you might not want to spin all of your old posts. This list right here enables you to make sure that some of your existing posts will never get spun and republished. Just put little check marks next to the ones you want to preserve. Now, as you probably know, Spinner Rider comes with a number of settings that can be fine-tuned and you're able to tweak all of those settings under this ENL spinning settings option right here. Clicking this blue link will reveal a bunch of settings you can adjust. Finally, let's talk about this very last setting that will turn out to be very important. If you decide to run this plugin 24-7 automatically, it's going to keep a very close eye on all of your posts and as soon as one of your posts becomes old enough, it's going to get spun and republished almost instantly. However, if you decide to run things manually, you'll be able to hop over to the spin old posts page and only spin and republish old posts whenever you feel like it. Ok, we've now covered the spinning old posts part of this plugin, but there's also another powerful aspect of this plugin and it's called adding new posts. For this you'll need to visit the big content search section of your settings page. Here you'll enter your big content search email address and API key and this will enable your plugin to go out and fetch high quality and relevant new posts for your website. Now, you can choose to always add new posts manually. In this case, you'll have to hop over to the add new posts page and fill out this cute little form to fetch new posts for your website. Or you could choose to automatically add new posts at specified times. If you do this, you'll be able to enter a list of keywords for your new posts and these new posts will be fetched, spun and added to your website automatically with no work on your part. Pretty cool, right? So these were the settings that you can play with and fine tune to really make the most out of this Spinner Rider WordPress plugin. And remember that this plugin will be automatically updated in the future so you might just be able to find new and awesome features on the settings page from time to time. Bottom line, I just wanted to say once again, thank you so much for being one of the awesome members of the Spinner Rider family and have a great day.